Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Brother, is that true? Now you see how better the swing is? You were right. When you have real light fl dental floss. Wow. Why, why lie to me, man? Let me come on. Yeah. Yeah, owl. my mom was an owl. She loved owls. She had owls in the house oh, yeah, all the you know, shelves, you know. The... Well, you know the uh, Bohemian, the infamous Bohemian Grove, where all the elite uh, meet once a year? There's, they have a giant owl statue called Ma Maltec or Altec or well, something. Who gives a hoot? <laughs> what do you well, want to know? Well, they're known for wisdom. You what know. do you want to know? Plus, uh, I want to know... Um, um, well, this this was the best amulet they had. I was there yesterday. I was looking for more. They had two. They had the hand, which I already gave you. Okay. Yeah, but what do you want to know? Though? I want to know... Will... Um, with the new information that came out this past week, would Robert Mueller really get close to, to nailing Donald Trump? Well, listen, I think he's probably already close. So. Down the road, all this investigative stuff going on with Robert Mueller and trying to get Donald Trump. Is, is Mueller going to nail Donald Trump? Because the new information is a new te uh, person that's going to testify. The girl, you mean? No, a man who has rec uh, audio recordings of Donald Trump saying things that would uh, definitely incriminate him in, in this uh, who? Where'd you hear case. Who? Would you get this on CNN? It was on. Uh, um, no, no. Actually, it was. I did, uh, a Wolf Blitzer and uh, and uh, Chris Cuomo mentioned it. Hmm. Mentioned it. They they didn't like. They didn't say a lot about it because yeah, it's brand new. It's not credible. Well, well, it's brand new. Well, also it's not credible. Yeah, but he's he's gonna he's gonna go before Mueller. Here's Donald Trump headed for a downfall. You hear the latest Donald Trump speech about how great he's doing. With well, the, with whatever, everything he does is great. He handled Puerto Rico fantastically. He handled some paper towels out of people. Yeah, he handled he handled Carol North, the Carolinas fantastic. The the border with ICE. Yeah, right. The kids, the children are still not united with their mothers, and they're God knows where to sleeping in cages on the Let's go outside. on the floor. It's some warm air. This is cold. You know what? It's cute, huh? I mean, yeah, you never know what I'm nice. gonna find there. Nice. They had different stuff. Where? The, the dollar uh, zone where I got the St. Benedict's medallion. For, go to the Dollar Tree anymore? 
I, I buy things at Dollar Tree, but they don't have anything of interest, like unique stuff, like amulets. All right, I'll, isn't it amazing how the air conditioning is working splendidly when you don't need it anymore? When you don't need it, it works. When it's I a know. heat wave, you don't have it on. I know. But this, it's the same thing every year in this building. They just can't get it straight. They freeze people out, they don't give you heat. Well, I bet the Holiday Inn knows how to regulate a thermostat. Well, no, you have the individual. You know, and we also have management with brains. But the lobby, the restaurant, everything else is always comfortable. Yeah. So. Oh, God. Well, I opened the window in my living room because uh, we face north, the house. And we get all the, for some reason, most of the breeze comes from the nor northerly breeze. As soon as I opened it, whammo, I got the big breeze coming in. I go, good thing I shut the AC off because uh, I had no idea it was so nice out. But uh, the rest of this week's going to be nice. It's going to be 70s. You yeah. don't need air. And low, low 60s at night. Don't turn the air on. Oh, don't forget, I've got your jacket. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun going, Gabri. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. That's what Kite's, uh, what are you called? The, avi the Aviators, the their Aviators. football team. Yeah, it's a great name because it's, right it's like. That's why, the, uh, that's why the motif in here is all jets. You know, and I bet the homes on Terrace Avenue, being that they're up on the hill, I bet they, I bet they get a good view too. Lodi, the, the football team's called the Rams, uh, blue and orange uniforms. Lodi Rams. I remember as a kid, they, 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 they used to talk about the infamous team at Northern Highlands, whatever the hell, wherever the hell that was. It's in Allendale, New Jersey. They said they were like really good. They were arch nemesis of, uh, at that time in the 70s, um, of uh, Lodi, the Lodi team. They they never look forward to playing Northern Highlands because they get beat. And my drafting teacher, Doc, um, um, Mr. Benson, ended up being uh, Lower High High School principal. He was uh, my drafting teacher. Uh, woodshop and uh, no, he did drafting, woodshop and metal, I think. Um, no, I'm sorry, drafting, drafting, which I failed. I was a bore, was bored the shit out of me. When I went, you had mechanical drawing. I mean, you you got to really have a passion. It's like accounting. It's like, you know, drawing. you know, beep, 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 numbers, numbers, numbers. I mean, it's great if you have that, if you have great mathematics skills and you become... But it's boring. What can you imagine? You know, uh, I can't see you understand how Bob became. A my my Jeff is a uh, my Jeff my friend Jeff from Canada from Boston in Canada. He's a corporate uh, uh, controller. You mean an accountant. Accountant head 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 accountant. I I told him I says yeah one decimal point in the wrong place and you're screwed. Oh. All it takes. He says oh he says there's more to it than that than right. than getting the decimal point right. I says, yeah, I'm, I imagine when you work as an accountant, you have to really pay attention and focus on what you're doing. It's cold as shit. Yeah. You, know, it's a, you know, it's a funny saying, you know, when they say, like, if somebody doesn't eat much, they say they're eating like a bird. Let me tell you something. When I throw junk, when I throw scraps outside, the birds leave nothing behind. That's right. Nothing. I guess they need small bites. Well, they take a lot of small bites then because I find nothing. And they eat everything. Even if it's, whether it's plants or bread or, or um, strips of my mother's meatloaf that she doesn't feel like eating. Today she's well, eating. Well, Shepherd's Pie uh, Stop and Chop is six ninety nine. Well, let me tell you. I think it's really asinine that all these tells me it's out of season. You know, you it's like it's a good size, decent size. Microwave, yeah. we're both already, you know. You have a microwave in your room? You know what? 
what, one of these days, when it finally comes in, I'm going to get two of them, and I'm going to give you one. Oh, if you God. like a big ship, I mean, one of the best I had at Blackjack Mulligans, it was big, but all of these is not bad. Of course, I didn't give my mother any. I know you did. Two or three times. Yeah, but she's, I don't think she really, she doesn't really acknowledge Good what food. she eats anymore. Yeah, yeah. She's at the point where you put something in front of her and she just eats it. She doesn't discuss it. Yeah, it's a, it's really hard watching them get old, you know? It sucks. You know, it's really, it's heartbreaking. It really is. You know, but a shepherd's pie, I mean, I, I, I never really. I don't know why more restaurants are off for that, because most, I, I've never met anybody that doesn't like it. I never, I never had shepherd's pie until much later in life. I mean, I never you heard of it. pick one up for you? All right, I'll give it a shot. It's on me, I mean, I'll pay for it. Wanna try it? You want, okay. you want, you want a box of Salisbury steaks from all these? You like Salisbury steaks yeah. and brown gravy? Well, who does? Why don't you want it? It's kind of like peasant food to me. Oh, rubbish, rubbish. Remember in your apartment building in Ridgewood, it said rubbish. It didn't say garbage. Rubbish. <laughs> That's Thurston Howell the Third talk. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm wearing, I look like St. Patrick's Day with this shirt. I might as well shepherd's pie. Fish and chips. Oh, they got great fish and chips at... Uh, Blackjack Mulligans, they use like... That's uh, good. I used to love Arthur Creatures and uh, yeah, yeah. Long John Silvers. Especially when you get the steak french fries, the wide ones. The big ones. Big yeah. Those are good. Oh, man. They're good. Sometimes here they undercook their fries. Under? Under. They're soft. No, um, I like a little crunch to yeah, it. I do too. John looked like he had more more skin surgery. He didn't look too good. John, the the Catholic. I didn't think he changed at all. The Catholic, Catholic, like some people. Yeah. It's cold. Wow. Damn. I want to get some fries and we'll head out. I'm gonna have to wear my vest next time keep I come. Car, keep a, uh, something in the car just in case. Well, it's ca it's gonna be like rest. it's gonna be like vest weather anyways. It is vest weather. No, I take yeah, I take a vested interest. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> this is mine or yours? Yours. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. Do you want to pay for it? Now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just we have to go over there and try the calamari too. What time? What time you got? Honestly, five of. A five? No. Four. Four. Oh. Yeah, I don't. I didn't bring enough cash for a beer, but if you want one, I'll get you one. All right. I'll, all right, let's go over there. Let's go over there like we did last time. Okay. And, um, boy, it was like a maze coming from Gabriel's to get to Ottawa. I didn't realize, I mean, it was a little tricky, like, but you know those Ottawa's apartments? They're kind of like cozy. The ones that are back there, you know, like secluded and everything. Yeah, I mean, they come, they're frozen. It's a big box. It's it's really low, low price. And they look like they're good size. Salisbury sticks. Are your things? Yeah. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Look at this Commodore Jeff Zambello at the Holiday Inn in Hasbro Kites, New Jersey. Look at this, an actual hookup for electric cars. This is a first. This is a first right in front of the place. And it's amazing. I, I've never seen this before. How about that?
Well, that's it. That's it for today's show. The Bananas. Bananas Comedy Club. Gabriel's. Gabriel's Restaurant. The famous Holiday Inn. Route 40. No, I'm sorry. Route 17 South. Hasbrook Ice, New Jersey. Overlooking Teterboro Airport. And there we go. And here's the fountain. There's the fountain. I'm finishing off today's Progressive Discussions Saturday show with the beautiful fountain here at the Holiday Inn in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, where many European tourists stay that want to visit New York City and save money here, as well as the pilots from Teterboro Airport, where all the private jets land. All the big shots that want to visit New York land at Teterboro Airport is the place to be. The Holiday Inn in Hasbro Kites is the place to be. This is James P. Madonna saying, until next time, progressive discussions. All right. We'll be with you with more insanity, comedy, or hard-hitting truth. Or sometimes a combination of all of them. Very relaxing. You know, moving water, according to ancient feng shui uh, in China, represents the circulation of money. Maybe that's why they have a fountain in the front. Who knows? <laughs>